Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Ken Andrew Daily or Ken Andrew of Ken Andrew Daily. And today I'm going to show you guys what I think is the best sewing machine for 2016. So recently I just picked up this new machine. This is the Chuki HZL G210 and it's a beast. I'm not going to lie. And especially for anyone that's out there being a new sewer or trying to step up your sewing game, this is definitely the best machine for you. Now just to give you guys like a quick run through of all the features, we got the extra pressure foot lift, we got plenty of room to sew, we got a bunch of stitches, and we have a lot of basic embroidery stitches as well. And this has speed control, and if you have never ever ever had a machine with speed control, you basically you set the machine to a certain setting, whether it be slow, medium, or fast, and the machine will limit how fast the stitches will go, which I think is probably the best thing, especially when you're working with detail-oriented projects. It's amazing. There's a lot of automation to this machine. There's the automated needle threader, there's the automatic backstitch, and the automatic needle down or needle up. So there's just a lot of features of this machine and I, for the most part, love it. I mean, it was an investment. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of pricey, but I've been saving up for a newer machine for the longest time. My YouTube channel surrounds sewing, so I want to put an investment towards this. Besides YouTube, I spend so much time sewing, designing, and all that, and this machine gets through it all. Like, I've done denim, I've done knits, I've been doing a lot of outerwear, and I've not had a problem so far, and I've had this machine for about two months now, and I've been using it almost every day. So this machine is a beast and I highly do recommend this for anyone that's trying to get a new machine or upgrade. Again, this is the Juki HZL G210. Now a lot of people are going to look at the price and they kind of will get scared. And I, I mean, when I first saw this price, I was scared. I was like, yo, why would I ever spend that much on a machine? After working with it for some time now, I realized why it's so expensive and how fast my project has gone by, by all the automation, by how efficient this is, I don't have to worry about thread tension problems, my machine eating up my thread or messing up my thread, all the stitches are flawless, so there's a price you need to pay for quality and this is the machine you should definitely put your money towards. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, like, yo, Ken, I just don't have the money for a machine at that price range. I'm more in the 80 to 100 price range. Now, I got another machine that you guys can try out. Basically, it's the baby version of this machine. And I went to a local sewing shop and had a test run on the machine. And for the time that I did use it, I thought it was almost identical to this. It's just smaller, compact. And it doesn't have all the embroidery stitches that this one has. And that machine is the Juki HZL29Z. I'll put a link down below for that machine. That machine is going to run about 80 ish dollars. And that's the standard price for most entry level machines. Now with that machine, I was very limited on using it. But for the most part, it was like almost, it was almost like this machine. I did a couple layers, it just turned out great. You guys can check all the details about that machine down below. That machine is best for its price and its quality. I've never had a problem with Juki. I've never really had a problem with Janome. All the other, all the other brands, I've kind of had some problems. I wouldn't say it's so dramatic. Juki and Janome is the only brands that I really, really put myself behind. I don't think I ever found a brother machine or a singer machine that I did not have a lot of problems with or broke down on me. So I'm just gonna put that forward because I love Juki, I love Janome. Basically, this is what I think is the best sewing machine of 2016 for designers or anyone that's trying to upgrade. And then for beginners or new sewers, it's the Juki HZL 29Z. I'll put a link down below to both of those machines and where to buy them. Also, if you guys want to know any other tools or stuff that I use for my YouTube channel, links will be down below for that as well. 
If you made it this far on the video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do men's DIY. I also do unisex DIY and I really want to expand and do women's DIY. So if you guys are into DIY or sewing or fashion, please be sure to subscribe. And if you found this video somewhat helpful, be sure to like the video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to keep it daily. I hope to catch you guys next time.